Hello, my friends, and welcome to The True. I'm Robert Wallace. This is a place where we ask, am I choosing the way of Jesus, or am I choosing my own way? We're continuing to look at James chapter 5 today, and today we're going to briefly look at giving. Now, giving of ourselves to God, our patience, our resources, and all of this in faith is the call of James throughout this entire letter. Let's be reminded that James has written this letter to the church, not anyone else. So when we think about the two types of giving, we tend to think about how we give to the Lord and as the most Christ-like way that we can, everything that we have to give. We know that the world has a different view of giving, and typically it's self-promoting or simply to feel good about themselves. Let's look at James chapter 5, verse 5. You have lived on earth in luxury and self-indulgence. You have fattened yourselves for the day of slaughter. Now, these are really hard words. Everyone in the church is in a different place financially. I don't know any of us that feel like we're living in the type of luxury that we think that James is writing about here. But aren't we? When we consider that we have a roof over our heads and by standards throughout the world, anyone living in this country who has a job, has a home, has a vehicle, has food in the cupboard, food in the refrigerator, clothes to choose from, we are living a more luxurious lifestyle than the most of the world. But brothers and sisters, we are blessed, and it's not just with housing and running water and all of these things. Here's the other part of, the, of his verse there. Self-indulgence. Wow. How often have you and I been self-indulgent in what we've done, where we've gone, when we've decided to be helpful? Or when we've decided, eh, I'll go to church today. Or, no, I'm going to stay home today. Are we not being a little self-indulgent? Now, although James is writing drugs to rich people in the scattered church, his words serve a warning to all of us. All of us possess, all that we possess will one day rot. It'll rot, it'll rust, it'll corrode, it'll fade away, or it will become someone else's property. We are to give of ourselves to God's mission and God's call. All of this so that our lives are working in the kingdom of God right now. Now here are the questions for today. Have I been guilty of luxury? Have I been guilty of self-indulgence? What do I need to give to the Lord so that He can use it for the kingdom? What's the Holy Spirit saying to me right now for today about this one verse? Will I choose the way of Jesus that leads to a full life, or will I choose my own way? Now, I'm praying for us as we carefully consider this verse and Better yet, let's go read James chapter 5 again today. And as we do, let's invite the Holy Spirit to give us eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from His Word. Let's have receptive hearts and minds to receive God's truth. And then let's ask the Father for the same boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus to do what the Holy Spirit is leading us to do. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.